Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, a real life pharmacist offering real life solutions. And today's question comes from Mary Lou. Dear Susie, I read your column every Thursday in the Sun Sentinel and I receive your emails on health each week. I find them so interesting and copy many of your columns and save them in my files. Thank you, Mary Lou. That's really nice. And I've been writing for nine years, so your file must be enormous. But don't worry, I have a remedy for that. I'm not ready to announce yet. Anyway, she writes, my question is, I would like to know of an herb for my niece to help her focus and have a clear mind when she works. She has a high profile job and would need a little help staying focused. So any help you give me, I will share with my niece. Thank you, Mary Lou. Well, Mary Lou, I've got a lot of good news for you. And you don't have to send your niece over to Starbucks every day for a whipped caramel macchiato or hazelnut latte, my favorite. Um, because caffeine isn't right for everybody, um, especially the older people who are viewing this. It can jolt the heart, it can cause tremors. Caffeine is not the best way to b build brain power, although it is quite effective. Um, three herbs come to mind. The first one um, is rhodiola. It's an herb from Siberia, near Russia. And what they found was in a study that it helped them deal with the cold and the frigid weather. Um, I'm not as technical as CNN, so I don't um, have a, a scroll bar that's really good. I, I, I have my own scroll bar. Scroll bar? Scroll bar. Rhodiola. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get that to run along the bottom of the screen. So any YouTube wizards, please email me. Okay, so rhodiola is wonderful. 50 to 100 milligrams, two to four times a day. I think that would be a good dose. However, follow the labeling on your package and do look for a standardized extract. Rhodiola is great because it helps beat fatigue, it helps you sleep, it helps increase alertness, and over the course of about three to four weeks, you start to feel better overall. It's a fantastic herb. Um, the next one is bacopa. Bacopa is an Ayurvedic um, herb and in Sanskrit it means creator. <laughs> Good scroll bar. <laughs> Bacopa is wonderful because it, it boosts your memory and it's a mild sedative so you have this calming effect but you feel more alert. I think it's nature's smart pill and I love Bacopa. It's wonderful and there are some studies that actually show that in serious conditions like epilepsy even if you take the drug phenytoin very popular in epilepsy there are some benefits from Bacopa. So do check that out with your doctor. Um, obviously good nutrition. And the last herb I want to talk about is Ginkgo. Ginkgo biloba. If you can see that. Ginkgo is fantastic. Most people already know that that builds brain power. So I don't want to elaborate on that. Typically you see a dose of about 60 to 120 milligrams uh, between one and four times a day, whatever works for you. It is a blood thinner. Be careful if you take other um, things like Plavix or aspirin or ginger or fish oils because the ginkgo can add to that blood thinning effect. But what you don't know is that ginkgo increases blood circulation from head to toe. So it can really help offset those terrible, nasty side effects that you get in the bedroom if you take antidepressant drugs. Um, if you take Celexa or Prozac or Paxil, Wellbutrin, Zoloft, any of these antidepressants, they really crash your sex drive and they interfere in all sorts of ways. It's, it's terrible. At least that's what people write to me um, all the time, every day with a question. Well, Ginkgo can help offset those side effects. So. Uh, again, the lowest effective dose because it is a blood thinner, but it can boost your brain power and it can boost your bedroom power. And I'll see you next time.